Oh, Channel 5, new clip. Okay, what? so the homeless do not actually want help. It's unfortunate. It's a mental illness and it's drugs. Even if you give someone housing, you're, they're still going to be doing drugs and have the same mental. That's wild, dude. What a take. Yeah, you should just. How do you deal with that? I, I, like, even if it's true, which it's not. But even if it's true, like, well, what's up? Are we just like, oh, dude, they just, you can't. You just simply can't do that. You can't be out here uh, helping people. Also, oh my God, the girl in the sign literally has a sign that says, I smoke crack with Hunter Biden. Oh my God, dude. Mental illness. So it's got to be like, I don't know, a program for mental health. Because if you ask some of the people, most actually, to be honest, if you ask them if they want a place to stay and live, no, they want to be where they want to be. I mean, I know people personally who have ended up in the streets and they want to be there. They literally chose like they had a life and they're like no i want to go live there it's kind of unfortunate and it's kind of like i don't know like it has to be mental health and that could clean up a lot I, it, that's so hard because also like mass institutions like that always go corrupt so i don't know the problem is is that like to be honest a lot of the homeless are probably going to always stay homeless it has to start at childhood and like unfortunately that like the school system now is so messed up and like they everyone has a bunch of trauma and the school systems are is she literally like talking herself into like understanding systemic oppression like struggles that are a consequence of systems like is that i feel like she's exhausting on her own the multiple different uh reasons for why people are the way that they are and it's like getting, arriving at the truth. I don't know how. It's such a weird clip. I love it. Once again, Channel 5, doing it again, dude. Start preying on that. And kids that are just growing up with in their homes and at school with mental health. They're just not like, not, they don't know therapeutic practices. And this is why they're ending up on the streets. Um, she, I actually didn't know you were going to say all that because you're literally right about everything. Um, my best friend photographs homeless people. He's been doing it for, I think, 10 plus. My best friend photographs homeless people? Bro, what kind of job is that? Dude, what kind of job is that, dude? What's up? My friend's a weird kind of pervert, dude. <laughs> just kidding. She's just saying her best friend is an art student. Come on, it's art. Photographing homeless people equals art. That's what that is. Plus years, spends days, nights with them. And he was like, you don't understand. These people can't integrate into society. I mean, they don't want to either. Um, it is a mental health situation. It is a drug problem. And I think the most humane thing we can kind of do is unfortunately- Can we get art major subs? Come on, I, get, I let you art major subs eat. Today. Okay, I looked at it. Okay, buddy. Come on. Come on. Let me make fun of it a little bit. Come on. Like against their will, force them to maybe be in places where we can make sure they're at least safe, try to get okay. them better. And if not, it's just not fair because it's so dangerous to the people. Like, I, um, I see naked guys on the street yeah. every day. Bottom line, like, you can't have them there. You need to figure something out. And it is, uh, it's just, it's a really difficult issue to discuss. But unfortunately, you know, when it's, when you leave it up to them. What is that? That's some TOS shit. What's he doing? You know, I hung out with that guy. I can't tell if it's a TOS shit or not. I hung out with him at fucking Andrews. You can't leave things up to crazy people. This place that they're going to end up going to, is it like a, a jail or is it like a, is it like a wilderness retreat? Or is it somewhere in between? So I think we need to build places that are not. No, no, it was censored already, but I don't know what was what he was showing. Maybe a dead person? Jails, not <laughs> mental hospitals, but there needs to be a very, okay, I would say a mental hospital, but a lot more humane um, and more like apartment housing and just something humane. It needs to be good. And both sides need to come together on that because it's sickening. You can't say you care about people. Yeah, perhaps like, uh, I don't know, permanent shelter. That seems like a good place. To start wow so maybe like the government pays for it or rather we pay for it with our taxes that's kind of cool right this is what i mean if, if you ever catch a trump supporter 
in a convo like this, like, I'm not saying they're agreeable. I'm not saying they're not uh, psychotic or anything like that. But if you ever catch a Trump supporter like this, you can basically get them to admit certain things like public housing is actually good. Just don't use those terms. And also don't portray yourself as a communist. Another thing you can get a lot of Trump supporters to admit is uh, amnesty for immigrants that have been living here for a very long time. But like, you gotta, you gotta grab them at the, at the right mindset. Because if you push forward a little bit, they'll immediately shell up or clam up and turn around and tell you that it's top of the hour and right now there's a six second outbreak coming, right? Like, so you gotta be mindful of what you say to Trump supporters because if you don't, when the outbreak comes, <clears throat> they'll forget to even, they'll forget to even let you know that, you know, you can avoid watching said ads uh, by subscribing. Um, Either for, either for uh, four dollars a month because it's the last day of September, or subscribing for free with a Twitch Prime, right? Or if you don't want to subscribe by using an ad block or a VPN, and that's how you can avoid the ad break that is coming right now at the top of the hour. Here it is. You're giving me trust issues with these segues. Yeah, I'm sorry. Would you smoke crack with her? I might. No, I would not smoke crack with her, but I can fix her. I can fix her. And then step over bodies on the street. I can't even believe people go in the ocean in LA. Can you imagine like the feces and everything that are going into the water? And it's disgusting. What also scares me is like, this is kind of off topic, but it's really scary walking your dogs around there. Um, yeah. Feces, needles, um, chicken bones, because they- Bro, this is the best cop in America. I love him. Give them chicken wings. Look at this guy, dude. I love that they're focusing on him too. Like they're they're switching over the focus. Wings and dogs choke on them and die literally all the time. It's it's just another sad factor. Do you guys live in LA? The worst part about homelessness for me is when dogs choke on the chicken wings that they're leaving for homeless people out there because the bones are there and they're d tasty and delicious. Also, homeless people are crackheads and uh, unfixable. Great. That's a... Uh, I'm sorry to keep repeating myself, but white people care more about dogs than they care about poor people. White people care more about dogs than they care about brown people. Save the dogs. Put the homeless people in camps. Is she bazinga-pilled? Yes, dude. Every conservative automatically, by definition, is bazinga-pilled. The concept of Bazinga is a lifestyle created to, to be apolitical. Of course, nothing is apolitical. And therefore, the most apolitical content is the most political content. But yes, it is correct that um, these are some of the most Bazinga-pilled people on the planet. Yes, downtown. Downtown LA. How do you feel about downtown LA? It has gone down the gutter. Completely. There's so many. There was literally never a time in this like 20 year old girl's life where downtown was not in the gutter. Like downtown was, if anything, it was worse, dude. What the fuck? When has downtown been like a good place? It's literally always been the gutter. homeless it is horrible all the money to clean up the homeless what has newsom done with it i don't know probably it is what's up with people wearing this shit rihanna went wore this uh a few days ago conservatives went wild pocket also defunding the police yep. you call the police six times and no one shows up and why would you you guys all shit on them and said they're all horrible people well yeah like I'll that's how this works actually yeah when, when people's feelings are hurt, despite the fact that you're giving them like seven gorillion dollars a year to buy tanks and shit, they're like, well, my fifis are hurt, so I'm not going to respond to this call. And that's how things are supposed to work. That's just how it is. That's right. Oh, thank you for the seven gorillion dollars a month, dude. Not showing up to this call now because my feelings are hurt. Fucking own, dude.
LA got defunded by what, 46 million or something like that? And I'm like, yeah, of course. And the crime has gone up. And they're like, yeah, so you guys are the ones that suffer the most. And I'm like, yeah, we do. Yeah, Camel Toe cheated. Who's Camel Toe? Kamala Toe. Camel Kamala Harris. What is that referencing? <laughs> I know I can't talk about it. It's just everyone knows that's how <laughs> that's how she's known. I don't want to say it right now. I smoked crack with Hunter Biden. How was it? To fully disclose, because I've been asked this 8,000 times, I did not actually smoke. It's like white Meghan Markle or like like Kirsten Wig Meghan Markle mixture. You know what I mean? Like Kirsten Wig and Meghan Markle just merged. Mega Markle. <laughs> Crack. It is a joke because conservatives still have humor. We don't all. That's right, dude. That's right. Conservatives still have humor. Like, totally. That's what I'm always thinking about. I'm like, fuck, man. Conservatives still have humor. We are funny. The right can meme. We all need to be serious and, and angry. angry. I know. No one likes an angry woman. No. Have you ever smoked crack before? <laughs> Not yet. Would you? Maybe with Hunter. You had to pick one person to Oh my god, even even the the the, the uh, conservative lady cannot resist the charms of sexy ass Hunter Biden, dude. Hunter fat cock Biden wins again. Hunter Biden doesn't even know she exists. And here he is, literally like proverbially clapping her cheeks. That's wild to me, dude. You think she feels that way about Don Donald Trump Jr.? No shot. That's right. She horny, horny. For real, dude. Hunter is low-key sexy as heck with his new veneers. Smoke crack. Bro, this guy's been trying to get me to read this so much. A rare medical complication caused the man to ejaculate from his anus. And this guy's just like, please, you have to read this article. It's safe for work. I'm not. I don't care. Just because something is safe for work doesn't mean it's safe for life. That that just looks awful. I I just don't want to know about that, you know? With besides Hunter Biden, who would it be? Oh my god, Alex Jones. No, Obama. Obama? Yeah. Obama or Alex Jones. <laughs> I love Alex Jones a lot. He's been right about everything. Everything? Here he is right here. Okay, maybe not two right things. Alex him. Jones is always right. <laughs> Alex Jones is daddy. I, I saw him speak uh, January 5th in D.C. before the 6th. He was there. I was he was there. I met this guy, like I said. He bought me ice cream. Well, I mean, I, not me. I didn't have the ice cream, but... um, Yeah, they're crazy, dude. Who's that guy? He's like a guy. He's the guy. The guy from one of the other Andrew movies uh, where he's like... This is, uh, so oh, dude, I love this uh, TikTok. We'll look at this in a second. Um, he's the guy, dude. His name is Kelly. Yeah, whatever. He has, like, a problem. Some guy stole his identity or something. I think he was met... I think Andrew met him at the fucking White Pride rally or whatever. With Roger Stone and some others. The recall and the vote's gonna be in tomorrow? Uh, but they'll probably manipulate the vote over the next several days and weeks. So I've already heard about people who go in to vote and they say, we already have your vote. And they're saying, wait a minute, my, here's my original ballot. So they're already starting to cheat. Dude, chat is so cute. Like, this is like the cutest chatter, dude. Did he just self-report as an insurrectionist? Bro, you think he gives, like, these people are, they're not going to face any punishments, dude. It's cute, though, that you think that, you know. That's the real thing. Yeah, he said Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the... You met a white pride dude and he bought you ice cream? And you didn't eat it? Yeah, because I didn't want to get reimbursed. I didn't want him to ask me for reimbursing him for the ice cream. Trying to cheat. Do you know what a camel toe is? No. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Oh my god, I don't want to explain this on... Google what a camel toe is. Kelly, do you know what a camel toe is? Uh, I believe a camel toe is the bottom part of a camel's toe that inverted very interestingly also looks like maybe a female portion of the anatomy that I would say that would be called down south. When your pants are too... Zani, probably got some new juicer fans since all you do is defend them. Here's a TikTok on how to educate them. 
sort of like the um the bourgeois have been performing deep bro come on come on come on dude Stop wait you're on. under your pants <laughs> Us three. Wait, us three, come on. Okay. Us three. Oh, they want to, they, they find him hot. Camel toe and Sleepy Joe. What a couple. What a team. Camel toe and Sleepy Joe. Camel toe and Sleepy Joe. They all got to go. Take Newsom with you, Nussolini, Grusolini. They're terrible. Throwing a little mustache, he looks just like Hitler. He tries to be like Hitler. They use COVID as a scam to get Trump out of office, to get mail in voting, to manipulate the votes, just like they're gonna try to manipulate this voting for Governor Newsom. Let me tell you, the people of California hate Biden. We like freedom, we like liberty, we like choice. Except, well not except, but the choice, the women need to make choice not to abort their babies and use birth control. So that's where we have a difference on choice. That's called pro-life and that's called protecting the babies. We need, we need Biden out. Wasn't this guy at the Proud Boys riot? But that guy wasn't just at the Proud Boys riot, okay? He was literally like at the January 6th insurrection. He just said in the video, it was like, yeah, when I was at uh, January 5th, I saw Alex Jones. He was doing a great job. It looks like you got the itis, brother. Dude, why you gotta call me out like that, dude? Also, apparently the itis is uh, a racist to say. Um, it actually, apparently, originally had the N-word in front of it. It is 1,000% racist. Okay, dude. I'm literally describing it to the chatter who may or may not have known it, okay? A lot of people in here probably did not know. I learned it from Boondocks as well. If that's racist, then so is Picnic. It's silly. Wait, what? What the fuck's the etymology of Picnic? Yeah, it's a black term. All my family and I use it. I mean, I literally learned it from Boondocks. And it's about eating, um, like, southern food. And how, because it's like oily, it makes you kind of tired after you eat it. I'm black, by the way, brother. I'm just saying. I don't know. What a psychotic question. We need camel toe out. We need Newsom out. And we need to get rid of Bill Joyner too. He's got to give that home back. Out. You react to that video of Dave Rubin calling you out. Wait, what? Really? Please don't forget to subscribe because a lot of people that watch my videos don't subscribe apparently and hit that bell.